Hey folks, welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be looking at some comparing loans today. Now, as far as I can see, this is not in the actual syllabus for General 2. It is in most of the textbooks, however. So sometimes you might find that they might be able to test these things um, via giving you the formula, because it's not on the formula sheet. Um, but it's probably a more of an applied thing. So when you are looking at home loans or car loans or those sorts of things, you might see things called comparison interest rates or effective interest rates. And sometimes it's good to get a bit of understanding about what those things are. Okay, so let's have a look first of all of the comparison interest rate, the comparison interest rate. Now, what does comparison mean? Well, what does it mean? Well, it means that we look at two things and we see the differences between them so we can hopefully judge which one we think is going to be better for us. Now, some home loans will have extra things, not just the loan amount that you borrow and, and obviously the interest, which for both these is quietly is 6% per annum. However, they might have things such as establishment fees. So you're starting up the loan, they might charge you to start the loan up. You might have ongoing monthly fees, just like you might have for your bank account. You might have annual fees. You might even have discharge fees, which means if you finish your loan early, you might have to pay a little bit extra. So unfortunately, a lot of time with home loans or any sort of loans, you might have these ongoing fees that you might not have first seen. But then again, you might have a loan that doesn't have any of those fees at all. So often it's good to be able to look at those, those all those hidden extra fees and see, well, you know, what's going to be better for me? Because you might have one that has a lower interest rate, but more fees and vice versa. So what a comparison rate does, it looks at, um, at the interest rate that you have for the, for the loan, but then it, it adds in all the extra fees that you might pay. Now, if you look down these two home loans, you might recognize that they're pretty much identical. They're both 150 grand, they're both over 25 years, they're both 6% per annum. However, the one difference that you might see is that in the first one, we have a monthly fee of $10, which means $120 a year that goes on for 25 years. So it becomes, I guess, a significant amount of money. So obviously, you can see because everything else is the same, you'd automatically suggest that loan two is going to be better off, and certainly it would be. But what happens if that had a, had a lower interest rate? It might not be able to, uh, sort of as clear cut as that. So what this calculator will do, it puts that information in, it finds out all the costs involved, and then it calculates an interest rate that would be similar to not paying any fees. So you can see here that the interest rates are slightly different. The second one that had no fees remains as 6% because that's what the interest rate was in the first place. The first home loan though has risen to 6.11%. So it's kind of added these monthly fees into it and said, well, if I had to pay an equivalent loan that had no fees, well, that would be a rate of 6.11%, which obviously means that second home loan has a better option because it's a lower interest rate. That's a comparison rate. So what is an effective interest rate? Well, obviously, a lot of the questions that we've been doing, we've had interest rates where we were um, paying things monthly. So when we're looking at our home loans, we've done our interest rate over 12. So what a, an effective interest rate does, it recalculates it as an annual um, compound annually or compounded annually. So it might be compounded monthly or compounded um, fortnightly, etc. But an effective interest rate says, well, if it was compounded annually, this is what the actual interest rate would look like. So kind of slightly different. Now, if this was tested in the HSC or um, in one of your assessment tasks, they would need to give you this formula. You can see that it's a pretty easy formula, really. It's part of the future value, the compound interest formula, but instead of having the, the principal amount, it just has the one plus other power of n and it subtracts one from it. So let's have a look at a question and see what it might look like. Calculate the effective annual interest rate. Well, E, effective interest rate is my one plus r to the power of n and I'm gonna subtract one from that. That's the formula that you will be given. And we've given here an interest rate of 7.25% per annum. We're compounding monthly and we want it as a percentage correct to two decimal places. Now this is your 
um, effective interest rate as a percentage. So there you go. So we've got here one plus, now my rate is 0 0.0725. That's per annum, but remember it's Apologies there. Um, that is per month. That We want that per month, so put it over to the power of 12. Now, we're going to put this now, the power of 12. It doesn't say have any sort of number of years, so we just put the power of 12, and I'm going to subtract one from that. We get an effective rate of 0 0.074958 dot 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 which is going to be as a percentage, and that's the effective rate as a decimal, be 7.496%, or in this case, we could put it as 7.50%, uh, which is slightly higher, as you can see, uh, than the 7.25% that we were given originally. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm not bother, going to bother going through much more because, as I said, it's not particularly in the syllabus. Um, if they gave you that question, it would have to be, um, you know, given the formula to, to be given it. But just in case, you know, you some stage you do see things talking about the comparison rates or the effective interest rates. That at least gives you a little bit of understanding about what those things are. But in terms of the general two papers, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. But I guess. They're just giving you a formula. That's a bit of algebra. You need to know how to apply the formula and then read it. Um, yeah, have a bit of fun with that, guys. And uh, any problems, let me know.